Live in Creamwell, North Carolina, this is Sock Gravel Basketball. Bobby Jones along with Justin Kruger and Bill Crouchery bring you all the action as Sock Gravel Vikings taking on Sutton Nash, Sutton Dawn Spartans for tonight's game. Vikings 12 and 3. After beating Dawn School of Arts on Wednesday, it was a good game, although they had a tremendous game so far. The Vikings had beaten the Spark had beaten the Bulldogs. That was on Wednesday night, two days two days ago. And they are a seven win straight here tonight looking for that dope team and looking for that eight game win streak tonight. The game goes on, and remember, there's a lot, a lot of pride here for the Viking players. They are getting ready to go. And for the Spartans now, they are 8 and 4. To getting everything that's going up and on. So this is the game right now. Let's go to the National. the
And so right now, the Sonic Rambo are going to face Sutton Dawn, looking to go, 13 and looking to go, 13, and so Sonic Rambo is going to face Dawn and Sutton Dawn, looking for the eight win streak, looking to take control at home again, and showing an appreciation for the Sonic Rambo fans. And the tip goes and is on its way and the last, and the ball goes to the Spartans. They won the tip. And number one will take it down and that's gonna be ball goes in out of goes in front. That's a rebound by South Carolina. Chimney is taking it to the only side court. Now he passes to Pitt. And Pitt is going in the other way inside of that, and that game is good. It is 2 0 from South Carolina. South Carolina takes it now. And number five is going to take it. A two page to number five, Key. TJ Hart has the ball. Hart reverse to number one. Got it. Cameron Dallas hit a three. It's now a three to two. Spartans. The Spartans had a lead. Nice ball movement. Mason Brown trying to get some back to the three. His own. That one not. And a ball. Last touch by the Spartans. Now to me, to... That's a pass that came out looking to turn into the line there, so now this is going to be a great game, that's him. Pat for two, that's not going to go. Number 24, Watson with the way round. It kind of support us down the... It's 3 2 Sutton Dawn. Line number two. Page for that layup. That's got to go. Two points for, for Page. And it's now a 5 2 ball game. Wobbles with that dry inside the paint for that one. And he's fouled, so Wobbles will go to the line for two shots. That's kind of going to turn the basket. That's good. I see he makes a note. And it's 5 to 4, Sark Rebel. And it's a foul is on. Oh, it's last. I'm not sure there's a foul there. It's going to be on pick. Sark Rebel's first team foul. Six on one remain here in the first quarter. Twenty-one. A heart. Now keep cussing it. That's like the game that's on the pond and that one takes in for us and now it Dawn, Sutton Dawn was doing their, 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 is doing their job. They're, doing, they're going to do a good job here. They love to press it. They love to get the easy moves and easy hoots. Now pays to Hart. 
almost came out of his jail by stealing it. And Hawk goes for three. And that was be the that could be the curse. The spot is up by one point. And Chimney. I believe Chimney can know how that they can do with the replay soccer with basketball. And Roberts for Hill Dream. That's not gonna go. I mean, I, I, I can, I can, I can, I mean, Roberts who had an open look, that just didn't go in. So now he still sets the five. Five to four. I mean, five to four, sorry about that. That's a dream point on oh, guy! Hit it with a three, and it's seven to five soccer. Ever. That is a nice shot. Three of that shot by Pitt. They would have a long way to, I mean, they were wide open and punch line and up. Number one, for three point. And they had so right back with the three down. Dallas had six points tonight. Alright. It was another three for downtown, but that's not gonna go. Dallas for three again. Dallas again. What a shot. It turns Roberts. And that's going in. Perfect, perfect shot by right here by Wallace. This time that's a shot that's uh inside the inside the paint, that one not going in. The game is nine to eight. Soccer will lead it by one here in the first quarter. Three thirty two remain here. And Dallas again with a three pointer. That's good. It is. Eleven to nine here with three sixteen remain here in the first quarter. That is Dallas with the east side continues making those shots. Nine points for Dallas. Dallas again. That's not gonna go. And number four with our reverse on T's with two points. And this game is tied. Oh no, it's. I mean, it's not. Is that? I mean, it's everybody's game, isn't it? An unbelievable luck. But that hit. Wappers for three, bang! The Vikings answered it back. Looked like they had a lead here in the force. Yes, they are. And ten with the left. Oh my! Sun Clever had a lead. Still had a lead. And they're gonna continue going on and stay on with a hit. He puts it in, it's now 16 to 14. Vikings going to try to tie it up. And it's a foul is on the Spartans. The Spartans with the foul. But it seems inside the drive trying to tie this game up. And here comes the Spartans again. Dales 
with an unbelievable layup. And that goes in, and it's now 14 to 16. I mean, now 18 to 14. Oh, look at this. And it's last test by the Spartans. Boy, that was a that was an inside an inside layup by KJ Terry. Amazing Brown for three. That's not gonna go. And it's still alive. And it looks like it's gonna be against the Vikings. So now Spartans had the ball right now, and it's now 18 to 16. I mean, 18 to 14. A four point game. And now there's another thing, and that is going to be in Brown with the, with the offensive rebound. And it's going to be the Torbert on the Vikings. Looks like they have a little bit. Of, they have a lot. They have a little bit of work to do right now, because they are down by four here in the fourth quarter. Do you see? It was 18 to 14 now. As you look at the on the scoreboard here, looks like they were having having a good time. And Spartans now, Cameron. I mean, Cameron Downs, you hit a three. Hitting some more threes here. Here on the, on the, on the ball team. They are the ball team of the Dawn's Sutton Dawn. Spartans trying to keep things warning. And number four, on the tees, still on the tees. With an easy layout again, and it's now 20 to 14. Pitch for the three, that's not gonna go. It can't start crit, crit, Spartans again. Ball oh, moving, three pointer. And how about that? It was a three for sure, and it's now 23 to 14. The ball goes out of bounds and it looks like we got a Spartan player on his hole, but he's getting back up. Slow to get back up. That's number three. We did hit a three month, about 30 seconds ago. 30 seconds ago. He was like, I mean, the Spartans are like, this is how this how this Spartans team is going to be. If they had a chance to win this game here, you know, with going 98. Ortiz with a layup, and it's now 25 to 14. As the Spartans keep rolling. And that will be the end of the fourth quarter. So now the Spartans, who have the lead, in a double digit lead here, is 25 to 14. And we'll be right back here in the fourth quarter. Here. Second quarter coming up. Right after this, you're watching Sunkorp basketball. On the in that fantastic network. Welcome back in this game right now. The score is now 25 to 14. The Spartans had the game right now, so they are in the wide in this game for sure. And this is no surprise. So the Spartans in control. 25 to 14. We're in the second quarter now. Mason Brown, double death or double team for the Spartans. Shingo for three. That's a uh, that's too wide. And it's like the Terry who stepped his foot, his foot is out of bounds. And the Vikings are in big trouble now. They're down by 11. Here 
just uh, lay it up, and that's not gonna go either. And Terry looks like he could call the timeout, on it, but not for sure. Now, hit it. In. Cheerleading for three. That's not gonna go. And robbery of defensive rebound by the heart. Hart. To number three, that's not gonna go. And soccer have a ball. This soccer of a basketball game is sponsored by Bull Jingles. It's full time. Get a shout out to Jessica Strickland. I mean, Jessica Hutchinson. Who is watching this game here tonight. Next week, then we got soccer. We have two games on the wall. We let you know how. Mason Brown. Hit it. Terry. And Brown. Brown for three. That goes in it. And one. What a shot. That's making it a four point game and it's now between five to seventeen. So I'm gonna cut up by eight. Now I'm trying to cut up to seven. And Brown hit a, hit a shot for the three point shot and it's now twenty five to eighteen. Like, this, is, this is everybody's game right now. It's now 25 to 18. Let's go. Let's like, let's like the Spartans can't believe it. So now the Spartans are not pleased, and this is hard. This is soccer. This is look. It's, it will be soccer ever ball or sort and dawn ball. You need a guess. Can you expect anything? Yes. It's a nice Rotten's bar. And look at this. Easy luck here. And it's now 27 and 18. Frank is pressing up. Press for the two point game. Two point. I'm trying to make this a seven point game. And they're still fighting for it. Terry. Pin it. That's not going to go. And now it's, it's going to be Spartan Spy here. Here comes the three point on the desk for downtime. That scores in. The Spartan's up by. Oh, there's a attack of the fans on the Spartans. And I think it's Isaiah Page. He was he taunts the fans and now he gets plays a price. That's a that's an unbelievable tackle of foul on Isaiah Page. Lucky Law here. And once the, once the game, Wobbers, who had the two pointer, so now Wobbers with a two three point and the tackle of foul. After the tackle of the foul on Page, it's still sunk around the ball. Inside Wappers. Wappers. Draws the foul, but he'll. I don't think he'll. And I don't think this is how. I don't think this is how the Sutton Dawn team knows about. They know about they can do that, and they can do that hitting trees and getting trying to win this game, going to 9 to 4. 
So that's it. That's that's, that's all they can do. Robert's this is for street fall. And that's a steal by ten. And Vikings have the ball right now. Roberts. With that laid up, that's not gonna go. Vikings still alive. And I think it's I think that's a, I think that's a foul. That's a foul on the, on the Spartans. <clears throat> and Terry will go to the line. Terry has enough hit, hit set. That's another free fall by the Vikings. First, it was a tackle of foul. Second, it was a free fall. And then, right now. And Terry missed his second shot. It's a good game, but it's still by a Tony. Makes it to Mason Brown. Mason Brown with a layup, and he goes in. Oh my goodness, and now I still. Number 10 who has his leg, and it looks like he's about to pop. Number 10, Jack Horner, Glassby. He's had his leg and it's all little like this and he is down and... And the timeout, uh, I felt sorry, he injured timeout. Uh, Jack Horner, Glassby. Jack Horner, Glassby is... Back back in the court, but it appears to be okay. The reason it looks like now he's hand to the sideline. Gillespie is hand to the bench. So now the game is called all is we're going to know how the score is all about. So now so I'm going to keep this game up. Mason Brown for, for that layup. And they're back right back in this game. Oh, Mason Brown cannot be stopped, gentlemen. It's now 30 to 27. Easy lit up. That's not going to go. And Sock on the ball with 417 remaining. Vikings are down by 30. I mean, Vikings are down by 3. And it's just another, it's just another day in the office, that's for sure. So now it's everybody's game. Here comes the Vikings now. Number 5. Shaving it. Roberts to Simeon. Turn it too wide. Can stop him and take advantage. And uh, goodbye. Stay on by Terry. Can stop him and take advantage. Everybody's got a game right now. Roberts. There's a foul is on the Spartans now, so Roberts will go for the line with two shots. Make this a one point game, a tie, and a lead. Oh, that's it, shots. This is how we learn this game. Roberts makes it, and that's a tie game at 30. He ties the game at 30 here. 
That will be the last. So that will be one more shot, and then get the lead. And he does. The Frankies have the lead, and a timeout by Sutton Dawn. Sutton Dawn takes the timeout, and the Vikings have the lead. It is now 31 to 30. We'll be right back. 31 to 30 the score right now. As we are in this game right now. And the Spartans are inside this game. Now it's number three. Number three with that layup and that's going to go in. It's a Spartans regain the lead. Ranging, <coughs> Viking, I mean the Spartans regain the lead. It's now 32 to 31. Nine twenty. Passing to drive. Chris Pennant dribbles. Looks fine. Try to find the open man. And gets it to Tony. Tony gets into it. Now to Roberts. Roberts dribbles the ball. Still looks down. Now he goes for the two. He does. And the Vikings answer right back. It's now 32 to 32 in the final score. You can see it in the field of their eyes. And the tactical finds on the Vikings. And look at the coach's face of the South Carolina. He doesn't have to see some all by himself. They can't believe by themselves. Dale Smith hits first. Trying to tie this game up. And he does. The game is tied. Two free sets from me here in a second. Just cannot. I mean, you gotta keep the guard. Can't let the guard down. It's just like that. You gotta know it. This is how you gonna do it. Now, Daniels. Daniels for two. That's not gonna go. And the Vikings pushing up. The game is still tied, and that's a three point by Terry. Terry, that's it. It's now 35 to 33 to start. Oh man. How did this, how did Terry got this, oh, how did Terry got the layup right after the person who had tried to hit a three, and then Terry got the rebound? Then he got the inside of the layup. So now he got the layup. So how he doing what he did. He did his job. Now he's going to play a defense. Dallas and his team are Sutton Dawn Spartans. They're down by two points. It's a good game here, here, right now. Three-pointer. Dallas with a rebound. And now there's a foul with 156 remaining. Fight is up by 35 to 33 to the score. They also came to it, so just a little bit, and that goes into. Looks like they make it all the way to it. That's Tuesday at 8. We're going to show the Vikings. That's Tuesday at 8. Vikings going to be on the wall to face Cardboard. As they almost tied this game up, it's 35 to 35. Now, this is for the same push out there. So, travel cars on the Vikings. So, now the Vikings are. It looks like they're going. It's a fly anyway. So now. The game is tied here late in the second quarter. Going to have to wait until half time. Number five for two. That's going to go in. And it's 37 to 35. 
You know, in this game right now, cheap and a two point inside the paint. Inside to Tim Brown. This last test by the Vikings. Vikings, that seventh win streak, trying to look, trying to keep things going for that eighth win streak out tonight. And Jackson Keat is yes, 39 to 35 now. The Vikings are down by four. Here's the steal. Hart with that layup. I don't think so. And there's a block. Jackson goes down. And now uh, there's a foul. It's going to be against. I think it's against the Vikings. 41 to 35 they'll score here in the, late in the second quarter with 45 remaining. His second Jackson Keith makes his Saxon. Whoppers for two. He gets me in his cut to cut to four. And this line is it's gonna be red ball. Red ball. Twenty-four seconds, forty-one to thirty-seven to score. So make sure that everybody gets this TV straight up. And that's gonna be soccer of a ball. And Spartan throws it away. Meanwhile, that's Bennett. That's going to continue. This is the full point game now. And the steal. Look at this. Number three had got right up in time. And I said they're going to call it. And I think it's good. It's 43 to 37. And the first one said count the basket. And it goes. So the Spartans are up by six. We're going to halftime right now. Both players are heading to the locker room, getting themselves a rest in 10 minutes, and we'll be right back here in this action here in the second half. Welcome back to this game right now. The score is now 43 to 37, the score. We're starting here in the second quarter right now. I mean, second half right now. The Spartans had a lead. They had and run. They may, they are taking on the possession right now. And this is going to be a great game so far. The Vikings are down by six as we begin to start here in the second half. <coughs> Third quarter for a threat. How can Vikings can do? If they can come back and fight back in this game right now as Hart misses the two. Here comes the Vikings now. For three. That goes in. And it's now a three point game. <coughs> nice shot by Kent. And that's a good and that's a good time that that had that happened. So now Pent could get there. Now the Vikings cut by by three. That's a proud. That's a three pointer. They don't answer right back in the arm. And they're still by the Vikings now. Can they get right back in this game? And although they pierce, after that pierce, we had a three. Now he's going to do it again. 
tie it. And it's tied in game up. The game is tied at 3 3. Just like that. Inside out. That is going. It is absolutely. That's back to back threes by Puss Perry. And number one downs with a two point plus game. After that, it was. After that, it's. 45 to 43. Just again, I didn't. Can't do it again now. This was wide open, but it's the still comes to taking down. <coughs> and number two. Keep Jack, Jackson keep for two, three point. That's not gonna go. And what's going ahead? That's a person fire and it's going to be fun. So get down 14 fire. It will be against the Vikings. The game's up 45 to 43 here. I'm not sure that if there was a person fire. Well, there's, there's a person fire in the Vikings. Now I can do something done. Get into it. It's up by two points. It's 45 to 43. <coughs> and look at this. That's a three point game. And it's 48 to 43. Now I can't know if I can answer that. Now I can hand this in to Roberts. Nice job, Gordon Hill. And that's our first foul. Sutton Dawn's first team foul in the game. <coughs> Five fifteen remain here, and it's now forty eight to forty three. That's a three pointer. <coughs> and they stay alive, hot. Hot is going to the layup. Now they barely even see the floor. And it's a jump off. The side grab of fast by sponsored by Bojangles. It's ball time. Driver called driver license and it's gonna be against the Vikings. And Hennis and Terry cannot believe it. KJ Terry has to be. <coughs> KJ Terry is continuing. Now he's got a darn hot. Look at that. And let's see he touched the ball. He had the ball last. Ortiz to keep check, check to keep and Roberts credit for three bang Vikings turn to two now unbelievable he had that shot right in here now the ball move it for the Spartans down for three point on they answer right back. It's now fifty-eight to fifty sets. And the timeout called by the Sutton Dawn Spartans now. The game is up by five points by the Spartans. Fifty-one to forty sets the score by Sutton Dawn. As games up. Terry. 
Okay, he's going to go all by himself. In the final spot. It will be against the Spartans. It's his own number five, Jackson Key. Three forty four remain here on the This Tuesday, Saw Grandma will be on the wall to face cardboard that starts at 8 o'clock. 51 to 48. Score now. <clears throat> Is everyone's game here right now? That does a ball movement. Number three. Look at this rebounding shot. And number three is going to take it down. This time, the foul is on number the foul is on the Vikings. <coughs> so now it's Sutton Dawn. Yes. Up top. Just never know what's going to happen. It's shot down the strip. This Tuesday, we're going to see Sonic Grandma face Carver on the wall. It starts at 8 o'clock. And then next Friday, Sonic Grandma will be on the wall again and face Lewis Bart. Jackson Keith with that slam dunk in his face. That was a nice dunk. It's down shitty. That's proved right down. And just like that, Spartans who had that who had that first dunk in the night. It's now 55 to 48. The Spartans are in business and now they're still by number three. Into the layer, and that goes in. Vikings need a timeout. Pass for that layer. That goes in. Seven point game here for the Vikings. I mean, for the Spartans. Number five again, they answer right back. That's a layup. Jackson Key answer right back. Now Tony answer right back. And it's now a seven point game here, and a timeout taken. I'm not taking by the buttons. The coach is trying to have some walls by the officials. So it is what it is. That's just a great game, game for now. Sudden Dawn. I mean, in Sudden Dawn, we got Ortiz, we got Jackson Key, we got Killian Downs. You got every team in this town right now are doing looking very good. And now they're on a seven point game now here on this. I mean I can sure I can assure this too. But now if the Vikings can't keep this game up, that could be a that's gonna be a long night for San Forever. For sure. And they can do everything. But now everything can happen here on back high school basketball. Because right now San Forever is Maybe that can come back. Time will tell, but you might be right, Bill. It's 
So now it's 59 to 52 to score. And it's still, here comes the Vikings. Number 12, Tony. And number 12, can't hold on to that. Nice save by number 12. Roberts with a layup. That's not good. And look like Dallas is going to get another dog. And just like that, Vikings with a 9 point game. 61 to 52 to score here in the third quarter. And Brown with a layup. That's good again. And it's back to 7. Amazing Brown. And Dallas with the three pointer. That's got to go in now. There's a 10 point game here. The Spartans with a double digit lead. Wappers to Brown. Oh my god, he almost, it almost went in. Sure, that should have went in. I can agree more. And now Jackson T with a layup. Mason Brown goes in. That's not going to go either. Looks like the Vikings have to do something by it because they were down by, uh, you know, nothing in this court. Three point, Jackson T had a three point game. And it's now a 15 point game, I believe. 15 point game, I believe. 0 0.1 seconds. with a nice person to continue to soccer and continue to hit it down. But now, and the basket world is way off. And the Spartans had the lead, a biggest lead here of the game right now, with 15 points here. And it's now 69 to 54. We'll be right back for this four quarter action coming up next. The game now is, all is a game right now is now 69 to 54, the score, welcome back to this game right now. This is a great, this is a game that's the continue that you might mention. South Carolina have won those games at home, but now they are trailing by 15 points. Hopefully they can come back, but not to be. That foul. <laughs> that was unbelievable. It was a foul that caused the end to it. And now T's will go to the line for two shots. And 70 to 54. Make it oh, look at this. Number five. <laughs> oh, look at this. And that's going to be. Let's say the car that's going to be against the side travel. Sutton, he. Had a, had a game here tonight. They have won so many games here. With eight wins. Now looking go 9 and 4. Look at Dallas now. He had a lot of points here now in this game. 
first dunk. He had a lot of threes. He may have first dunk here this tonight. And they're looking to uh, they are in leading bit. You see them, you'll see them facing when they face Carver here on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Now two offers. Inside. Oh, they cannot hold on to the ball. And it's, and it's a backcourt violation. What do you want to do? You gotta get this game out of here. I mean, it's just like this and coming up. Those things like it's just not not to be, bro. I mean, Sutton going to have a great, great game here now. Look like they're gonna win this game for sure, and it's gonna be as Jackson Keith. You had to win that for two. Inside contains now Mason Bryant comes into the left end. And the timeout taken by Sonic Rambo and the Spartans need 72 to 50 sets. Sonic Rambo who won so many games here, but you know, it won't be that long until they head home. So it's now 72 to 50 sets for us. We can walk back here. Although they have, although they have a big lead here. And number five with that tunnel line jumper. Oh, look at this. Taylor with that, with that easel, almost a dark and it's down 72 to 58. I think it's going to turn Yeah, it can turn him on and up with that. Hopefully, it's that door. Hopefully, it won't be down now for long. Oh, it's left hand. Wampus cannot hold on to the ball. It's 522 remaining. So now it's everybody's game. So now it's everybody's game. And now, but the Spartans, they lead big here in the second half. So now, yeah, they got some good looks too. Good looking players. Good luck in town. The fire's on side gravel. So now. Or who is it? <coughs> we don't know for sure. Both teams are on the lines now. And now this is everybody's game. Number 21, caught. Passes to. Now, Ortiz. Looks like Sutton Dunn is doing a tremendous job in Ortiz. It's going to the left. And the foul is called. Tease will go to the line for two shots here tonight. Keep that in mind, that was a whole lot of content for this one. It's just like that. And the Vikings are in here tight. 
But somehow, it wasn't. Martinez gets his first. Not believe that. I didn't know it was Bobby. That the whole Sutton team, Sutton Dawn team, is in for the in for the continuing to no, But right now, they're looking to help. And they're looking to win more games for sure. Three pointer. That's, that's it going in. And ten on the inside there. So now, <coughs> now I'm raising it. And next time, Sutton Don has it. On the coffin, Sutton. On the coffin, Sutton is going to go. Four and one. And I believe, I believe something that's going on and on and on. It goes on and on. This battles are all contained now. And Sutton going his own over Sakura and Mattel right now. Trouble team. Ortiz no, don't know what he's doing. And look at that. Makes him blind for the two point. Said it is six to six to two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all. This is all. This is a tough time for Sonic Rebel. But now, anyway, look, they're all going to be right back. They're going to be bounced back on Tuesday and they face Carbo and they're going to face Lewisburg. So that's going to be a lot of stuff going to happen here. Game here, so now the time I'm taken by Sonic Bamboo. Let's take a look at the scouts right now. Start on January the 20th, they're going on the road to face Carbo and Champion here, and then they're going to Lewis for next, next Friday, that's January the 26th. They're facing Lewis for then on Tuesday, January the 3rd, Sonic Bamboo on the road again to face Vance County, and then February the second, Sonic Rebel faced JF Rab at home. Then on the sixth of February, Sonic Rebel will be on the road again. The first Dawn School of Arts. And then on the ninth of February, they face Sutton Dawn. Then they're on the road again. They're back home again. They face Lewis Ball on February the 13th. And then on February the 16th, it's a seal night. A foul. On season in this season finale when they're facing Gravel Cecil. That will be the last home game on February the 13th. <coughs> so now here comes the So now it's a Sutton Dawn and a big lead. That's what this game means now. Sutton Dawn, who had a good game, so now they're gonna win this game for sure. And if you look at this house team right now, I believe something. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows Sutton Dawn that goes up and does like 
Yeah, we can... It's not gonna gonna be look like... Yeah, we can beat those guys. We can beat those guys. We can beat them bad right now. This is, this is absolutely... I mean... A tough one. This is actually in the top one. That's for sure. And that's for sure. That's how. That's how it's all about. This we got. Let's take a go to remember. It. So now it's seventy-five. The sister four, the Vikings are down by eleven. Yeah, look at this. Double team now. Sutton Dunn walking that ball not behind and now a dunk by Jackson Key. That's that dunk dunk the Spartans hand. Dog dunk his front and head and inside continue from pond and it never will. Sutton Dawn cannot be in start in this game right now. It never will. A 14 point game. Pence will take it down. Pow! It's 78 to 67. The score held with one team remaining. Sock level takes a timeout. The score is now 78 to 67. The score here with one team remaining here. Can the Vikings have a foul or go for the double team? Looks like they were. Yeah. Almost came out with the steal. Something done, don't have to. They do not have to worry about the clock. Not that they have to, what they have to do right now is actually tremendous. This is a tremendous team that this game has had for months. Every game it has a game, but not now. They gotta keep them, keep us, keep, keep the anything down for sure. Yes, it's second shot. Oh, this is all the good. That's all. Tie and one. Forty eight seconds to God now. Setting your nine to set sister nine. This is shot, so. Vikings down by 10 points here in this game. Yeah. Now it's a hmm hmm shot that goes in. Now I'm moving the ball. Spartans are moving the ball right now. Nice passes to number two. And the steal's going to be by Terry. And nice setting the nine to sister one. I mean, setting the nine to 71. And a timeout. What an awesome game that has been for both teams.
Well, I thank everyone a lot for coming. And I hope you come, come. And I hope you come in this game. And I hope you watching the EFSS Network. The score is now 79 to 71, and it looks like Spartans are going to win this game here, you know, going 8 and 4. So now he's everybody's game for sure, for sure, but I can tell you that this is how he's all starts right now. So now he's everybody's game here. You know? And this time. As it's Johnson, looks like that long run. Last shot. And it goes in to make it 79 to 73. And our final score in this game. Spartans win by six points. Our final score in this one. The Spartans win. 79 to 73, Vikings are going 12 and 4 here this season. And now, and Saka will go on to lose this game by 6 points, our final score. 79 to 73. That will do in this game for Joseph Crook, Bill Crantree, and Bobby Jones. This Tuesday night at Elm Park. Sark Rebel will be on the wall in Shopping Hill to travel. They will travel Shopping Hill to face Carver that starts at 8 o'clock right here on the Union SS Network. With that, we'll say so long from Dreamer.